So let's talk about the else statement now. We can use the else statement to specify a block of code to be executed if the condition is false. So here's the syntax. So remember the if a condition and a block of code to be executed if the condition is true. And then we can add an else. That's when block of code to be executed if the condition is false. So let's look back our example with integer x20 and integer y18. So if x is greater than y, we can print x is greater than y. Then we can put an else case. Else, then we can say x is not greater than y. So let's go back our, to our guess example. So notice what happened with our guessed uh, example. Uh, if the user guesses something that is wrong, nothing happens. So we have no idea that user, user doesn't know whether they entered uh, correct uh, letter or not. So let's put an else case here. Then we can say else. And then I can say something uh, along with the lines that uh, PL. Then I can say uh, dot dot dot. Sorry, you are wrong. Done. Okay. So now we have a way of to give a, the feedback to the user. So save. I'm gonna clear this. Uh, by the way, I actually meant to save this as guest two. I like to keep a. Uh, each version separately in case we want to refer it back. It's too late for this one, but we'll, 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 uh, in the future references, we'll make sure that we save each iteration as a different copy. So Java guess two, compiled, and then run guess two. So I'm thinking of a letter between A and Z. Can you guess it? J, sorry, you're wrong. So at least we have a feedback now. L, sorry, you're wrong and maybe k you entered k right so we got the right right feedback 